This is why the narcissist can't stand to see you happy. So everyone, as you valiantly seek to break free from the narcissist's grasp, a perplexing realization may dawn upon you. The narcissist doesn't want you to find happiness with someone else. It's bewildering and seemingly contradictory, but there's a deeper truth to it. Despite their actions, new relationships and claims of not wanting you, an inexplicable desire to keep you tethered remains. You might wonder, how could this be? They've moved on seemingly enjoying life without me, and they've made it clear they no longer want me. How could they still care about my romantic life? The answer, my friends, is found in understanding the narcissist's underlying motives. The contradiction stems from the narcissist's need for control and their desire to maintain a grip on your life. They can't bear the thought of you finding happiness with someone else, as it challenges their power and carefully crafted facade. You attaining joy would diminish their influence over you, creating an undeniable discomfort. So, their resistance to your happiness arises not from genuine concern, but from an urge to preserve control. In a perplexing twist, the narcissist fails to recognize that once you've loved and cared for them, that devotion doesn't belong to them forever. They carry an inherent attachment disorder, preventing them from truly connecting or separating. This distorted perspective drives their belief in an eternal supply of your attention, validation, love, empathy, kindness, and patience. However, they fail to understand that your emotional wellspring will eventually run dry, especially when subjected to their demeaning and manipulative actions. Overconfident, they presume they can sway your thoughts repeatedly, but the reality is far different. Their attachments lack emotional depth or true bonding, rendering them incapable of experiencing the nuances of emotions or feelings. So, be mindful of these complexities as you navigate your journey to freedom. Remember, the narcissist's resistance to your happiness stems from their deeply ingrained need for control, and you are far stronger than their manipulations. Keep the faith, stay strong, and trust that you will emerge victoriously from this perplexing chapter in your life. The emotional disconnect within narcissists allows them to move rapidly from one partner to another, never fully committing to a single soul. Their relationships are like brief touch-and-go encounters, as they fail to form genuine attachments or emotional connections. This inability to grasp the intricacies of bonding leads them to project their own shortcomings onto others. In their distorted perspective, if they cannot form true connections, neither can anyone else. The perplexing truth lies in the narcissist's warped view of attachment, the notion that you belong to them and no one else. Fueled by jealousy, they interpret your happiness as a personal insult. To them, an unspoken competition exists between you, and if you're thriving, you've won something a narcissist cannot abide. Their primary goal is to keep you shackled, constantly pondering their presence and never fully moving forward. Witnessing your happiness from afar, they may feel an urge to meddle, attempting to siphon your joy because they cannot generate it themselves. Their insatiable desire springs from an inability to find contentment within seeing happiness as a resource to be taken from others. In their eyes, your blossoming life is a wellspring they greedily wish to tap. This parasitic mentality drives their possessive, controlling behavior, intending to pilfer your bliss and prevent it from being shared with a new partner who might replace them as the main recipient of your warmth and affection. The narcissist's twisted belief is that sabotaging your happiness will serve them best. As confusing as their motivations may seem, understanding them equips you to defend yourself against their destructive schemes and maintain your emotional wellness. Trust in God's guidance and protection, and know that his love will see you through these trying times. The narcissist puzzles over how you can flourish while they falter. While this may seem inconsequential to you, understand that the energetic bond between you and the narcissist persists long after the relationship has ended. If you're trauma bonded and continue to dwell on their memory, they can sense it and feel compelled to claim your happiness for themselves. The appearance of their contentment in another relationship is just an illusion true satisfaction remains elusive for them. Consider this, my friends, if they were genuinely fulfilled, why do their energies persist around you? Why do they watch you through false accounts or inquire about you among common acquaintances? Even though they may appear to be in a new relationship, 
Their curiosity about your life endures the bond isn't so easily broken. You may have witnessed their unhealthy habit of monitoring ex-partners on social media as they simply cannot let go. Motivated by a desire to manipulate, they are constantly engaged in a silent competition to outshine others. Their outward image of accomplishment conceals an underlying discontent. The narcissist seeks to provoke jealousy and envy in you because these very emotions reside within them, a fear of being surpassed in this never-ending, hidden battle. Recognizing this baffling dynamic arms you to protect yourself against their toxic scheming, preserving the happiness you've tirelessly earned. The enigmatic truth is that the narcissist's wish for you to remain alone stems from their envy of your happiness and success two things they find challenging to attain. It may seem unfathomable, but a truly content person would not obsess over the well-being of others. Instead, they would concentrate on their personal journey and growth. This, however, is not the narcissist's way. Lean on your faith and let God's love guide and protect you through these trying times. With his strength, you will continue to thrive and weather the storm of the narcissist's perplexing nature. So everyone, the persistent re-entry of the narcissist into your life, even after the relationship has ended, signifies something profound not love or regret, but instead a yearning to pull you back into their sphere. Their purpose is to drain you, to weaken you, so that they may elevate themselves. In a healthy separation, closure is reached and both parties recognize their boundaries and the rationale behind the breakup. The narcissist, on the other hand, is desperate to hide their true nature and avert revealing their imperfections. Your capacity to move on and flourish brings their shortcomings into the light, compelling them to face their fractured selves, a reality they will tirelessly seek to escape. As you navigate this puzzling journey, know that God's love and guidance surround you, along with tools and resources to strengthen and support you. One-on-one -on -one counseling, church community, prayer, and the therapeutic services provided by trained professionals can enhance any healing process you might be undertaking. If you're interested, please do not hesitate to reach out. Our mission is to bring clarity and assistance during these bewildering times. Thank you for your attention and engagement. I hope that our discussion has brought insight and understanding. I eagerly anticipate our future conversations as we continue to pursue spiritual growth and healing. Until then, may God's peace and love be with you. Take care and enjoy your day, knowing that you are never alone.